What's up, risk managers? My name is Nasdaq Anonymous, and I'm addicted to the NQ. And boy, is she one hell of a drug. And welcome to today's NA meeting, where we will discuss the economic data for the week, the day's technical analysis, the trading opportunities we took on today's stream, and build a game plan for tomorrow's price action. And if you haven't done so already, you can show your support by subscribing to the channel. And with that said, let's jump into the charts now. This is tomorrow's data. Be mindful that all times are in central time. And we have a small block of news scheduled for tomorrow, so let's jump into it. At 7.30, we have some housing news. At 10.30, we have the 52 bill auction. At three o'clock, we have the short and long-term Treasury International Capital Flows that is released by the U.S. Department of Treasury. And at 3.30, we have some crude news. And now that we know what to expect, let's jump into the charts and create a game plan for tomorrow's price action. This is the block of price action that we traded on today's stream. And from pre-market until market open, we had a straight big move higher. We had a small pullback and a retest breaking this high. Now, everybody was thinking that this was going to push to at least 400 before we got this big drop. What surprised me most is that after we got into this area of support, we didn't get no retest. The bulls completely failed here and they gave the momentum to the bears. Even though this was a slow grind down for the bears, the bulls completely failed and gave this up. And going into the afternoon session, you can see that the bulls tried to take price back higher, but the bears were waiting here at resistance and they took price lower. Now, here's what I'm looking for going into tomorrow. I'm looking at this potential area because this is where the bulls can potentially find support for a move higher to possibly retest higher structure. Now, that bearish move down was unexpected. If you traded the day session, you can tell that the bulls were definitely trying to buy this up. This move down was not a fluent move down. It was choppy, it was back and forth. So you bulls were trying to buy this back up to possibly test 400, but we just didn't get that today. So I'm thinking that that might be an objective for tomorrow, but we also have FOMC on Wednesday and that can influence the market momentum going into tomorrow. So I'm gonna be looking at this area and I wanna see if bulls can find support to push price higher. Now let's look at a CL chart. Now this is a CL chart. And just like NQ today, price just moved higher. You can look at the charts and see that there's little to no price action. Price just trended higher. And once we got a range breakout, price slowly grinded higher. Now here's what I'm looking for going into tomorrow. I'm looking at this area for a pullback. A CL can be tricky once we get range breakouts. CL can continue to grind higher. We can get a big correction pullback back into supply at the bottom of this range right here. Or we can get into the middle of this range for a retest of this high. So it's, it's, it's really important to get more information with CL. I wanna see how CL opens. I wanna see how CL trades in pre-market and around four o'clock and it will determine how I will move forward with CL. But remember, this is just a game plan for tomorrow. I wanna to see the price section in pre-market and that will determine my bias going into tomorrow's stream because we don't trade what we think, we trade what we see. Because the price action writes the story, the charts tell the story. And if you listen and trust in the setup, then you'll have a story. And here's my story. So I have some bad news. Well, it's not bad news. On the latter half of the session, I did go tilt. I did blow my PA account by switching and revenge trading in minis. I did have one more 20K Apex account. And unfortunately, I allowed going tilt. I allowed my emotions to get the better of me. For a while, I was profitable. I was scalping and I was in profit and I could have stopped. But trading on tilt, at least for me, nothing is enough. No amount of PL is enough. And unfortunately, I got caught and I dropped down and I blew the account. So I, I am no longer funded with Apex. I'm only funded with Top Step. But I'm gonna allow this to be a learning experience for me. So I don't lose these accounts in vain. 
Revenge training and minis is always a recipe for disaster. Picking your spots and creating a plan and trading that plan is always the right decision, but it's hard making those decisions while trading on two. But that's all I have. If you're enjoying these breakdowns and want insight on trading the NASDAQ intraday, then subscribe to the channel and join our live stream where me and my trading partner provides intraday analysis in real time. Our goal is building a community. And if you're tired of missing the best trades on the NASDAQ intraday, then join the live stream, join the Discord, join the risk managers in the chat, and we appreciate your support as we grow. As we wrap up, remember the risk manager's creed. Trading involves risk and demands careful analysis and capital preservation. And we can do that by practicing sound risk management. Every trade tells a story. Make sure you write that story in your trading journal because our psychology is all over these charts. And as always, my name is NASDAQ Anonymous, and I'm addicted to the NQ. Stay green out there. Peace.